Hello artists, it's great to see you today. I'm so glad you're here with me. So today we are going to be creating patterns um, and you are going to need just a few tools, um, a sheet of paper that we can divide into six equal squares. So I usually use 12 by 18. I cut some squares that are six by six so that they fit in here pretty perfectly. Not that we're gonna glue those down because um, we're gonna do something else with them. Glue and, or a glue stick and then a pair of scissors. What I am going to do is I'm going to cut out my different squares to make different kinds of lines. All right, so I'll set those down. Should go all the way across either way. Maybe I can do one like that. And my pattern is gonna go um, vertical, horizontal, vertical. I can use shapes too, so maybe I'll save the rest of this until later. Do those three vertical. So we can cut out different kinds of lines. Do a zigzag line. I try to do, choose colors that I think would look good with each other too. All right, so now I can put that in here. And I'm just laying things out, but I'm not gluing anything on yet. That's really important. It's kind of nice to really think about where you want things to go, especially since I'm still in the process of cutting things out. I'm going to keep cutting some of my shapes out and I will show you what they look like when they are all the way done. You'll notice I've got a pattern of horizontal and vertical, but I still want to add a few more shapes. So sometimes I make a mess with my glue sticks. I like to actually set them on top of my background paper. And that way if I have glue that goes off of my paper that I'm gluing down, it's going on to my background paper and that way I'm not I don't have to clean up my whole table for making a mess. So I'm just gonna go through one step at a time, double check and make sure I like the way it looks, put the glue on, stick it on, and then kind of go from there. This also gives me the opportunity that if I decide I need to change anything, I've got the opportunity to go through and change some of that stuff. So I may decide there's something I don't like or Right now I'm looking at this and thinking I may need a little bit more in this area so I can go back and change this. I will show you the results as soon as I'm done, but I am just going to keep on gluing in the meantime. And I hope you do too. Can't wait to see what you've done. Show me your artwork when you're done. I can't wait to see it. 